we should definitely treat ourselves all the time because we deserve it. Like we're all just trying to make it through this life, dang it. So if the day seemed crazy or even if it didn't, like, and you want to treat yourself, do that. Okay, ladies, I got a good one. What is inner beauty for you? Inner beauty is just being yourself. Like, honestly, I think we're at a point in our lives where everyone is like trying to be perfect and like trying to stunt a little and I get it, but that's not, that's not internal, it's external. And it's like, again, seeking validation. So I think that inner beauty is being okay with exactly who you are and where you are, and then, you know, allowing that that inner beauty to shine outwardly. I feel like beauty is in the eye of the beholder, just like success is in the eye of the beholder. Inner beauty comes from compassion, it comes from um, strength, it comes from, you know, being knocked down and, and getting back up over and over again. It, it comes from helping somebody else you know, understanding and loving who you are for everything that you are. So can you guys share with me one of your personal affirmations that you say to yourself every day? Please share. Um, lately I've been like a master manifester and so I've been focusing on self-love so one of the things that I tell myself or try to tell myself every day um, is I am love I have love I give love I attract love before I was even in the industry I had to tell myself this and literally it's just breathe just breathe Jordan. And when it comes to my career, I always get so excited to perform and to be on stage or to do what I'm supposed to be doing in the job. I'll start, I, I notice that I start breathing really shallowly because I get so excited and I have to tell myself to breathe. I actually have uh, respira on tattooed on my ribs because it's just a reminder literally right there. Like every time I look at it or I see myself in the mirror, it's a constant reminder to breathe. I have it written on my mirror actually in dry erase ink. <laughs> Self-love mantra. You know, we we look in the mirror and we might look a little rough, but we'd be like, okay, girl, we're gonna pull this together because we got things to do today. We gotta get to this money. We gotta hustle. We gotta be better than we were yesterday. So even if you're not feeling it, push through the struggle. So I am sure that we all have an immediate answer for this. So let me ask, what is the self-care routine or service that you absolutely stand for? I will start, massages. I am a massage snob. I love getting massages. My nails, because my nails are always done. That's the one thing that I always do have done. I just got them done last night for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't sleep on it. Have your wine night. Have your self-care night. Like, you know, get a massage. Do all those things that make you feel like whole. For me, I journal, I meditate, and I go into nature. Like, I get, I get back to the basics. And like, that's what like makes me feel like my best self and my whole self. So that's that's a little bit of what my self-care looks like. Treat yourself, treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> treat yourself to me means go shopping. <laughs> treat yourself is like, oh my God, I like this cute, whatever, fill in the blank, a bag, a shoe, or something. And like the logical Melissa is like, don't buy that. But Melissa's homegirls are like, girl, treat yourself. Yes, sis, yes. Okay, now ladies, so when it comes to 
celebrating other women? What are some things that you do for your girls or for other women in general? I mean, I am celebrating my beautiful black sisters right now. We celebrate each other by talking about each other, by supporting each other's businesses, by just checking on each other, by calling like, hey girl, you good? Like anything, that's how we support. Cheers to standing for strong black women. May we know them, may we be them, may we raise them. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Ladies. Oh.